science and technology are taking place and we must adapt them, absorb them right down in our villages, in our rural areas because that is the only way we can advance quickly in one jump and catch up to the world. The youth of India have to accept this challenge. They have to get together, make a united India, forget their differences and they have to fight for taking India forward. They have to work hard at absorbing these latest developments for the benefit of our people. We have to see that our old traditional differences are finished. We have to see that there is complete harmony between all religions, all regions, all languages. We must remember that we have to stop pushing down any section of our society. Harijans must be raised, must be allowed to come into society in every way. They must be absorbed in our society. They must be brought into the mainstream of development of the country. Similarly, we have to see that atrocities on women are finished. We have to see that women are allowed to build themselves up, women are allowed to progress in our society, that women take part fully in the development process of our country. We have to see that the backwards are advanced, are don't, do not remain backward, they are able to come up, are allowed better facilities, more facilities and given the assistance that they need. We have to see, similarly, that our minorities are given full opportunity for work and livelihood. Our minorities are not discriminated against. They are given, they are ensured their safety and justice. All the other various sections of our society need to be brought together and developed, allowed to rise, allowed to participate fully in the development of our country. It is only then that our country becomes really strong and united. We have progressed a lot on this road. We have done tremendous work during these past 37 years. But there is still work to be done and we must concentrate hard on this. We have to see that some of the new problems in our society are also tackled. Problem of corruption, problem of efficiency in any public service, in politics as well as in administration. And we will do our best to tackle both these problems. Nothing will be left. We have to see that the problems around us, not although not directly our own, should be settled in the most amicable and friendly way. We have the problem of the Tamils, in Sri Lanka, which is causing everyone in India <laughs> tremendous concern. It is not a problem which is restricted to Tamil Nadu. It is affecting people in every corner of our country. Although this is a problem for Sri Lanka, it is their problem. But with the refugees and with people of Indian origin being affected, it is affecting us. We cannot pretend that it is not affecting us. We have taken up this issue on various world forums and we look forward to today's meeting of the all-party conference and, I, and we hope that some positive outcome will come from this meeting. There have also been some cases of firing upon our fishermen. We have brought our Navy and our Navy and Coast Guard will give full protection to our fishermen. Nobody will be able to threaten our fishermen, especially in our waters. You have to see today how India can face all these challenges. The only way is with the Congress at the center and with the AIDMK Congress combination in Tamil Nadu. You have to support Mrs. Chandrasekhar for the parliament seat and we have lots of candidates. Oh, five of them. Oh. Five of them. Oh.
ஸ்ரீ பொன்னேரி ஸ்ரீ ஸ்ரீ பெரும்புதூர் கே பி சேகர் ஸ்ரீமதி யசோதா பட்டாபிராமன் திருவள்ளூர் திருவள்ளூர் ரம்பொன்னமலி அனந்த கிருஷ்ணா அண்ட் ஃப்ரம் திருத்தனி சமூகன் சண்முகன் யூ மஸ்ட் சப்போர்ட் போத் த ஹேண்ட் அண்ட் த டூ லீவ்ஸ் டுகெதர் 